Guys, I think that the i3-13100F might be one of the most underrated processors currently for sale, so I'm starting a new series until we find a better value processor. Who knows, it might be one episode long. But first, let's compare it to the i7-9700F, which has double the cores, and we'll use a reasonable GPU to do that. We ain't Linus here. Those of you who want to nick your balls, feel free to let me know in the comments. Starting things off, we got Cyberpunk, where on 1080p medium preset, our i3 crushed the i7 not only in the rigged in-game benchmark test, but also when running around in the same busy street where the actual FPS was around 75 for the i3 and 60 for the i7. In CSGO's benchmark map, our reasonably priced i3 was also Although in the actual deathmatch game on Dust2, both processors were getting around 300 FPS on 1080p low settings. Now the first game where I would honestly take the 9700F instead of that i3 was Call of Duty Warzone 2. And because at first, as you can see from the graph in the corner, the i3 CPU usage was hovering around 50%, while the GPU was sleeping on around 40% of usage. I immediately knew that so after some YouTubing, I found out that you need to change a certain line in the code, which helped me to boost FPS and CPU usage to around 80%. Meanwhile, on the i7, I was also stuck on 80% of usage, but the gameplay felt much smoother for some reason. And I even managed to clap for dudes. Oh wait. What's just happened there? Oh. Moving on to GTA 5, the i3 took the lead once again because of some unexpected frame drops coming from the i7. And I re-ran the test a couple of times, but nothing changed, which was weird. And the probably the even weirder thing that on Fortnite, using 1080p medium settings to avoid any GPU bottlenecks, obviously, the i3 that no one talks about basically beat oh, shit. the i7 once again. I don't know about you guys, but this is unbelievable stuff to me. Forza 5, same story. 1080p Ultra preset where you would think that the GPU would have bottlenecked. In reality, it was the i7 CPU, it bottlenecked. And on the i3, there was no CPU bottleneck, which was just, it's crazy. For example, in the synthetic benchmarks, also something similar. No matter how many times I reran the Cinebench test, like with XMP on, off, RAM at like 3200 MHz, 2400 MHz, i7 lost in both single core and multi core runs despite having a better motherboard, better cooling, better RAM, and yeah, okay, it, it won in 3D Mark time spy, so at least that. But basically, if you're into older games like CSGO or GTA 5, new AAA games like Cyberpunk, Modern Warfare, or like Forza 5, or you just have no taste in games, uh, a brand new i3 will run about the same or faster than the i7-9700F while costing less and coming with a two-year warranty. Not that the CPUs break, but the choice is yours. And honestly, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you subscribe, then you subscribe. Game is game.